What is good you guys? Today I'm going to be taking you through a nice little full walkthrough on how to paint your RAM. Um, mostly obviously the memory heat spreaders, the heat sinks, not the actual PCB board itself because that's just not how it works. So as we can see we have, I have it painted white and yes I do have the sticker on it still because it makes it look more legit I guess. Um, overall it came out really good so the first process we're going to go through is peeling that sticker off. Now because I want to keep my sticker you can see I'm being very careful with it. Um, I'm trying not to bend the edges too much because uh, if you guys know about trying to put a sticker back on, the ends will pop back up if you um, tear them up a little bit too much. So one thing I did notice with these stickers is the faster you remove them, the more likely you are to have leftover residue. So always try to pull these off very slow, even if you're not going to keep them. That way you won't have any residue to clean off um, once you get them fully off. Now as you can see, there isn't any residue left on there, which was really nice didn't really have to scrub them. Now for removing your heat spreaders, the first thing you're going to want to do is take a hair dryer and uh, basically hair dry the crap out of your RAM. Now it doesn't take too long. Um, don't worry about it getting too, too hot. Um, it's going to be a little bit hot to touch, but it shouldn't burn your fingers. You shouldn't get it that hot, but um, you definitely should get it warm to where you can feel it. It's kind of, you know, kind of got a, like a little burny feel. And then what I like to do is I like to put my fingernails underneath the RAM spreader, the heat spreader, and then put my thumbs to push against the PCB board itself and slowly just evenly apply firm pressure until it comes apart. Now this one I didn't hair dry enough. Obviously you saw it just fly off. Um, the more you get it heated up, the easier the heat spreader will actually come off. So um, I would suggest heating it up a little bit longer. Um, but anyways, I, I think I get this one a little bit better, but same process on the other side, just heat it up. Um, it should only take on high for a hair dryer. Every hair dryer is different, but it should only take, you know, probably about 10 seconds, 15 seconds for it to get warm enough for it to come off. Um, so it's not too much of a dangerous process. As you can see, there's no residue left on the RAM stick, which is pretty nice. Um, that you don't have to scrub anything off. And I will be reusing the little double-sided tape that they have on there. So I took some cutouts I made. Um, basically, it's a piece of plastic that you guys got it from my SSDs. Came in like, you know, those little plastic boxes that were annoying to open up and you have to cut them with scissors. So I basically took that um, and cut out a piece to put over. Now we're going to go some, for some light sanding. So I'm using 800 grit sandpaper. I would suggest anything from 600 to 1,000. Um, personal preference for me, I like to put a little bit of water on it to make sure I don't get any deep scratches. Um, and I'm basically just doing this to get any extra residue that was left over, as well as kind of rough up the glossy surface so that the paint will adhere to it better. This is always a good practice to do on anything you're painting, especially if it's shiny and got like that really like smooth, clear coat on it or overall just smooth finish on it in general. You definitely want to give it a little bit of a rough up. So. Um, like I said, pour a little bit of water on the sandpaper. You don't necessarily have to. That's my personal preference, though. And I am using 800 grit. And um, as you can see, it's got little scratch, scratch marks in it. Nothing too serious, but it looks like it, the smooth finish has just been kind of brushed a little bit. Um, it's hard to tell on camera, but you can definitely tell that there's a gloss difference between the two once I'm done. Um, but like I said, hard to tell on camera. But um, that'll just help the paint adhere. So for paint, I'm using VH, uh, VHT. Uh, uh, flame proof exhaust paint as well as a satin clear coat because I want to make sure that I get a nice um, protective layer over it. I wouldn't necessarily recommend using any um, clear coats on a heat sink but this is RAM and overall the RAM doesn't get too too hot and it's really not going to make too much of a difference what color paint these are or how thick it is though I wouldn't suggest putting anything thick so as you can see I'm laying a very thin layer on very very thin I'm gonna let that dry and that's basically gonna help the next couple of coats adhere it's gonna give it something gritty to jump onto so the paint doesn't just kind of uh, like um, I don't know how to explain it but if you were to spray something very shiny and glossy you would definitely see what I was talking about um, so you always want to give it that really far away mist coat first to kind of give that gritty feel to it so basically I just keep repeating that process until I've got them practically all the way white like almost all the way white and then I'll throw my final uh, coat um, 
fully on there, give it a nice, not completely thick, but definitely a nice full coat on there with the spray paint. Always remember to continuously shake your can, as well as try not to use um, an empty can of spray paint because you could get splatters and drips. Now for the clear coat, I just did one clear coat, um, one coat of it, satin clear coat, uh, decently, not completely, once again, thick, but a nice full coat on there. And uh, that's basically just to help protect it so that way I don't scratch them easy because I am using a flat paint and RAM is something that you touch fairly often, um, more or less. So the finished product came out really great. It actually even had almost the same shine and glare. It actually looks exactly like it should, like it came like that, especially with the st uh, factory stickers back on. Um, I know the camera's a little bit out of focus here. I, I don't know why it did that, but it definitely looked really good in person. And uh, the full finished uh, build, um, I've actually painted my heat sinks for my motherboard. If you can see there, they're white as well. Um, but yeah, that's definitely basically all there is to it. Now, some things I would tell you guys to uh, keep an eye out for is don't use uh, half empty spray cans or 25% less, I would say, left in there. 50% uh, is okay, but if you start to get to that 25% range, you really start to get to the point to where you're going to get random bubbles and drips flying out of the paint can um, from the lack of compressed air in there and lack of paint in there. So it's definitely nice to make sure that you have a decently full can of spray paint when you're wanting a nice finished coat. Um, as well as um, with the sanding process, it's always nice to rough up an edge a little bit before. I would not suggest using 300 or 200 grit sandpaper. That that could definitely leave scratches, especially in some, um, in the type of metals like this, the aluminum and stuff, and uh, um, steel and all that stuff. It could definitely scratch it more than you want it to, so it's always a good idea to wet sand that. Um, with some really high grit sandpaper, 600 to 1,000 would be preferable. I wouldn't go any higher because it's... Um, you're basically just going to be wiping it down with a rag and that's mostly just going to polish it, if anything, if you're at like 1500, 2000 grit sandpaper. So, um, definitely things I would suggest if you are painting something like your motherboard heat sinks, I did not clear coat those, obviously. I would suggest just using a very nice thin flat paint, hopefully something with heat dissipation. That's why I went for exhaust paint. Um, and those will work best, a nice flat color, but because my RAM was white, and that is something that you touch a decent amount, especially, you know, if I'm going to be putting it in, I got to put pressure on it with my thumbs. And if my hands are dirty, I don't want it to rub off on that flat paint. That is why I clear coated it. Um, but if it wasn't white, I probably wouldn't have clear coated it. Just like I said, because of the color I'm using, flat white can tend to get very dirty very quickly. Um, and you can't clean it because it's flat. It's, it's not going to work. It's going to wipe the paint off. Um, so if you do have something like that, like for instance, my graphics cards heat shroud, that was something I put a matte clear coat on. Um, things like that is fine, but when it comes to a heat sink, I would definitely suggest um, not clear coating it unless you have to. Um, but anyways, you guys, that's a quick little tutorial on how to do your RAM and stuff. And uh, overall, just a quick full guide though. You know, I wanted to go through all the steps between removing the heat sinks, the prepping it, um, all the way down to the overall um, paint job of them and like I said it's going to be multiple coats it's going to take some time to dry so don't expect your PC to be up and running immediately and another thing is also to make sure that you let it fully dry before you touch it I can't tell you how many paint jobs I've messed up because I just wanted to touch it and if you're going to be throwing on coats like I did all in one day and then throwing a clear coat I would suggest at least a day and a half worth of drying try not to push it because even after one day after that clear coat's going to take so long to dry because of the uh, coats underneath it not fully dry it will scratch or it will put a dent in it if you touch it with your fingernail or something or tap it against something sharp it'll just peel the paint right off once it fully dries it'll be good but um, I would leave it at least for a, anywhere from a 24 to 48 hour period to dry completely um, but anyways you guys um, that's my RAM painting and my system is all done. Maybe I'll do a video on what it all looks like. Um, it's code name white out because I ended up painting practically everything. My graphics card, my RAM, um, the little uh, fan shield and my motherboard have all been painted white. So it's code name white out. That's my computer's name. Well, anyways, you guys, this is Steven with All Talk On and I'll catch you guys later.